Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Tarantola. I'm here at Unveiled at CES 2020. We're checking out Ricci, an AI modular robot created by Pollen Robotics that's designed to be able to do just about anything. But can it beat me at tic-tac-toe? The answer is no. <laughs> Take that, robot overlords. Now, while the Ricci that we've got behind me is designed just to play tic-tac-toe, it's an open source system which allows it to be used for basically any application that you can think of. It can be programmed using Python, which is open source. The hardware is modular and also open source. Uh, it comes with either a single arm and a torso, uh, two arms and a torso, or two arms and a torso and a head. The head is expressive and comes equipped with both microphones and speakers for audio inputs, as well as a pair of cameras which allow it to see using computer vision. The arms are biologically inspired, they've got seven degrees of freedom, and they can be either equipped with either clampy grabber hands or full five-fingered hands like normal people. And its head is especially expressive thanks to a special joint in its neck that allows it to pan, tilt, and swivel very much like a human would. And since it's open source, uh, the applications for this are pretty much unlimited. Uh, the company expects people to be able to use it for customer service, food service, demonstrations, even research and development for AI, computer vision, and machine learning. While it is open source, it's not cheap. The first batch of Ricci's should be coming out pretty soon, but the company's only expected to produce between 12 and 15 of them, and they're gonna be pretty pricey. Uh, the base model, which is just an arm and a torso, is gonna be about $9,000, and that's gonna run up to 17 grand for a full setup with a torso, two arms, and a head, all of that good stuff. So I was able to beat it at tic-tac-toe, which is not something I'm normally able to do. I'm just terrible at that game. The system did get a little confused based off of how the blocks were placed on the specialized mat. So there is definitely some room for improvement in terms of its vision capabilities and processing capabilities. But despite me being able to beat it, the platform shows a lot of potential, a lot of possibility, and I'm really excited to see what people will do with it once it gets out there into the public. That does it for us from the Pollen Robotics booth at Unveiled. Stay tuned to Engadget all week for complete coverage of CES 2020.